cardiac higashi syndrome this autosomal recessive disease is characterized by recurrent bacterial infections partial oculocutaneous albinism lack of skin and eye pigment and aggressive but non malignant infiltration of organs by lymphoid cells phagocytes from patients with this immune defect contain great granules but do not have the ability to kill bacteria this autosomal recessive disease is characterized by recurrent bacterial infections partial oculocutaneous albinism lack of skin and eye pigment and aggressive but non malignant infiltration of organs by lymphoid cells phagocytes from patients with this immune defect contain giant granules but do not have the ability to kill bacteria so the molecular basis of the defect is a mutation in a protein lyst involved in the regulation of intracellular trafficking the mutation impairs the targeting of proteins to secretory lysosomes which makes them unable to lose bacteria lyse bacteria i'm sorry lyse bacteria then leukocyte adhesion deficiency or lad as described cell surface molecules belonging to the integrin family of protein function as adhesion molecules and are required to facilitate cellular interaction three of these lfa1 mac1 and gb150 bar 95 that means cd11 a b and c respectively have a common beta chain cd18 and are variably present on different monocytic cells cd11 a is also expressed on b cells and immunodeficiency related to dysfunction of the adhesion molecule is rooted in a defect localized to the common beta chain and affects expression of all three of the molecules that use this chain this defect called the leukocyte adhesion deficiency causes susceptibility to infection with both germ positive and i'm sorry gram positive and gram negative bacteria as well as various fungi impairment of adhesion of leukocytes to vascular endothelium limits recruitment of cells to sites of inflammation viral immunity is somewhat impaired as would be predicted from the defective tb cells cooperation arising from the adhesion defect lad varies in its severity some affected individuals die within a few years whereas others survive into their 40s and the reason for the variable disease phenotype in this disorder is not known lad is the subject of clinical focus then complementary defects result in immunodeficiency or immune complex disease immunodeficiency disease resulting from defects in the complement system are described many complement deficiencies are associated with increased susceptibility to bacterial infections and or immune complex disease one of these complement disorders a deficiency in properdin it stabilizes the c3 convertase in the alternative complement pathway is caused by a defect in a gene located on the t i'm sorry x chromosome defects in mannose binding lectin mbl result in increased susceptibility to a variety of infections by bacterial or fungal agents <coughs> key initiator of complement attack on many pathogens and it is important component of the innate immune response to many organisms so immunodeficiency disorders are treated by replacement of the defective element although there are no cures for immunodeficiency disorders there are several treatment possibilities in addition to the drastic option of total isolation from exposure to any microbial agent treatment options for immunodeficiencies include the following replacement of a missing protein replacement of a missing cell type or lineage replacement of a missing or defective gene for disorders that impair them antibody production the classic course of treatment is administration of the missing protein immunoglobulin pooled human gamma globulin given either intravenously or subcutaneously protects against recurrent infection in many types of immunodeficiency maintenance of reasonably high levels of serum immunoglobulin will prevent most common infections in the a gamma globulo clinic endemic patient this is generally accomplished by the administration of immunoglobulin that has been selected for antibodies directed against a particular organism recent advances in the preparation of human monoclonal antibodies and in ability to genetically engineer chimeric antibodies with mosaic v regions and human derived c regions make it possible to prepare antibodies specific for important pathogens so advances in molecular biology make it possible to clone the genes that encode their immunologically important proteins
that are cytokines and to express these genes in vitro using bacterial or eukaryotic expression systems. So for disorders that impair antibody production, the classic cause of treatment is administration of missing protein hemoglobin. Pooled human gamma globulin given either intravenously or subcutaneously protects against recurrent infection in many types of immunodeficiency. Maintenance of reasonably high levels of serum immunoglobulin will prevent most common infections in the gamma globulinemic patient. This is generally accomplished by the administration of immunoglobulin that has been selected for antibodies directed against a particular organism. Recent advances in the preparation of human monoclonal antibodies and in the ability to genetically engineer chimeric antibodies with mouse V regions and human derived C regions make it possible to prepare antibodies specific for important pathogens. So advances in molecular biology make it possible to clone the genes that encode other immunologically important proteins such as cytokines and to express these genes in vitro using bacterial or eukaryotic expression systems. The availability of such proteins allows new modes of therapy in which immunologically important proteins may be replaced or their concentration increased in the patient. For example, the administration of recombinant IFN gamma has proven effective for patients with CD, CGD and the use of recombinant IL-2 may help to restore immune function in AIDS patients. Recombinant adenosine deaminase has been successfully administrated to ADA deficient skid patients. Cell replacement as therapy for immunodeficiencies has been made possible by recent progress in bone marrow transplantation. Replacement of stem cells with those from an immunocompetent donor allows development of a functional immune system. So high rates of success have been reported for those who are fortunate enough to have an HLA identical donor. Careful matching of patients with donors and the ability to enrich for stem cells by selecting for CD34 plus cells continue to minimize the risk in this procedure even when no ideal donor exists. This procedure has been highly successful with skid infants with haploidentical complete match of one HLA gene set or haplotype donor marrow is used. T cells are depleted and CD34 plus stem cells are enriched before introducing the donor bone marrow into the skid infant. Because this therapy has been used only in recent years, it is not known whether transplantation cures the immune deficiency permanently. A variation of bone marrow transplantation is the injection of paternal CD34 cells in due to <coughs> where the birth of an infant with skid is expected. So if a single gene defect has been identified as an adenosine diaminase deficiency or chronic granulomatous disease, the replacement of the defective gene may be a treatment option. Clinical tests of such therapy are underway for skid caused by ADA deficiency and for chronic granulomatous disease with defective P67 FOX with promising initial results. Disease remission for up to 18 months was seen in the skid patients and up to 6 months in the CGD patients. A similar procedure was used in both trials. It begins with obtaining cells. Cells are usually selected for these precursors from the patient and transferring them, transfecting them with a normal copy of the defective gene. The transfected cells are then returned to the patient. As this treatment improves, it will become applicable to a number of immunodeficiencies for which a genetic defect is well defined. As mentioned above, these include defects in genes that encode an alpha chain of the IL-2 receptor JAK3 and ZAP70, all of which give rise to skid. As with all treatments, there is an element of risk in the use of gene therapy for immunodeficiency. Two incidents in which the introduced cell populations proliferated in an uncontrolled manner, giving rise to leukemia in treated skid patients, dictate caution in the use of gene therapy. However, the potential risk of gene therapy must be balanced against the benefit of to patients who will succumb to fatal infections without treatment. So, experimental models of immunodeficiency include genetically altered animals. <coughs> Immunologists use two well-studied animal models of primary immunodeficiency for a variety of experimental purposes. One of this is the asthymic or nude mouse. The other is the severe combined immunodeficiency or skid mouse. 
Recent studies with genetically altered mice in which a single gene is knocked out give precise information about the role of specific genes in combating infection. No doubt, a thymic mice, a genetic trait designed in you, which is controlled by a recessive gene on chromosome 11, was discovered in certain mice. Mice homologous for this trait, NU, NU, are hairless and have a vestigial thymus. Heterozygotic NU plus Lita meats have hair and a normal thymus. It is not known whether the hairlessness and the thymus defect are caused by the same gene. It is possible that two very closely linked genes control these defects, which although unrelated, appear together in this mutant mouse. A gene that controls development may be involved, since the pathway that leads to the differential development of the thymus is related to the one that controls the skin epithelial cells. The NU NU mouse cannot easily survive under normal conditions. The mortality is 100% within 25 weeks and 50% die within the first two weeks after birth. Therefore, when these animals are to be used for experimental purposes, they must be maintained under conditions that protect them from infection. Precautions include use of fertilized food, sterilized food, water, cages or bedding. These cages are protected from dust by placing them in a lumina flow rack or by the use of air filters fitted over the individual cages. Mute mice lack cell-mediated immune response and they are unable to make antibodies to most antigens. The immunodeficiency in the nude mouse can be reversed by a thymic transplant. So this defect leads to the absence of a thymus or vestigial thymus and cell-mediated immunodeficiency. So because these mice can permanently tolerate both allografts and xenografts, they have a number of practical experimental uses. For example, hybridomas or solid tumors from any origin may be grown as, as sites or as implanted tumors in a nude mouse. It is known that the nude mouse does not completely lack T cells, rather it has a limited population that increases with age. The source of these T cells is not known. An intriguing possibility is that there is an extra thymic source of mature T cells. However, it is more likely that the T cells arise from the vestigial thymus. The majority of cells in the circulation of a nude mouse carry T cell receptors and del gamma delta type instead of alpha beta type that predominates in the circulation of a normal mouse. The skid mouse. In 1983, Melvin and Gail Bosma and other colleagues described an autosomal recessive mutation in mice that gave rise to a severe deficiency in mature lymphocytes. They designated the trait skid because of its similarity to human severe combined immunodeficiency. The skid mouse was shown to have <coughs> early B and T lineage cells, but a virtual absence of lymphoid cells in the thymus, spleen lymph nodes and gut tissue, and usual locations of functional B and T cells. The precursor T and B cells in the skid mouse appear to be unable to differentiate into mature functional B and T lymphocytes. Inbred mouse lines carrying the skid defects have been derived and studied in great detail. The skid mouse can neither make antibody nor carry out delayed type IV sensitivity or graft rejection reactions. If the animals are not kept in an extremely clean environment, they succumb to infections early in life. Cells other than lymphocytes develop normally in the skid mouse. Red blood cells, monocytes and granulocytes are present and functional. Skid mice may be rendered immunologically competent by transplantation of stem cells from normal mice. The mutation in a DNA protein kinase that causes mouse skid is so called leaky mutation because a certain number of skid mice do produce immunoglobulin. About half of this leaky skid mice can also reject skin allografts. This finding suggests that defective enzyme can function partly in T and B cell development allowing normal differentiation of a small percentage of precursor cells. More recently, immunodeficiency skid-like mice have been developed by detection, deletion of the recombinant activating enzymes responsible for the rearrangement of immunoglobulin or T-cell receptor genes in both B and T-cell precursors. Rag knockout mice exhibit defects in both B and T-cells. Neither cell type can rearrange the genes for their receptor and thus neither proceeds along a normal developmental path. Because cells with abnormal rearrangements are eliminated in vitro, 
both B and T cells are absent from the lymphoid organs of the rag knockout mice in addition to providing a window into possible cause of combined T and B cell immunodeficiency the skid mouse has proven extremely useful in studies of cellular immunology because its graft rejection mechanisms <coughs> do not operate the skid mouse can be used for studies on cells or organs from various sources for example immune precursor cells from human sources can be used to re-establish the skid mouse immune system these human cells can develop in a normal fashion and as a result the skid mouse circulation will contain immunoglobulin of human origin in one important application the skid mouse are infected with hiv1 although normal mice are not susceptible to hiv1 infection the skid mouse reconstituted as human lymphoma tissue lymphoid tissue provide an animal model in which to test the therapeutic or prophylactic strategies against hiv infection of the transplanted immune lymphoid tissue